Howdy ho, RP Nation. Today we are going to talk about how to get started with the Recovery Pumps RPX 2020 pump interface. Now for those of you tuning in who might not know about our compression pumps, the RPX 2020 is our digital compression device and in combination with one of our compression garments, the RPX 2020 will give you clinical compression at its best. This pump offers users complete control of their compression therapy sessions with advanced customization and wide pressure ranges in precise increments of millimeters of mercury. We work with pro sports teams, collegiate teams, athletic trainers, physical therapists, and more across the globe in over 36 countries worldwide to help athletes speed up their recovery by reducing muscle soreness and fatigue, lessen swelling and edema for injured athletes, both pre- and post-op, as well as boosting performance through our true negative gradient pneumatic compression therapy. If you want to know more about how compression therapy works or some of the advantages of using Recovery Pump, please feel free to visit our website at www rpsports.com or follow the links in the description below. For today, we're going to give you some quick tips on how to get started with the RPX 2020 pumps control panel and interface. But before we get started, I just want to mention that the RPX 2020 is Bluetooth enabled. This means you can connect and control the pump from our recovery pump app in the palm of your hand. All of the adjustments and settings that we're going to talk about today can be done via our recovery pump mobile app, plus some additional features as well. So I would highly recommend that you install that app. It's available on Apple and Android. And for more information on the app, we do have some other helpful quick tip videos available on our channel, and I also linked them in the description below. Let's talk a little bit about the console's controls. Starting on the left-hand side, you're gonna see the dual purpose mode slash menu button. This is used for a few functions that we're gonna get into a little bit later in this video. And in addition on the left-hand side, you're also gonna see the up and down arrows. Those are gonna allow you to toggle between menu items as well as make adjustments to your compression therapy session. On the right-hand side, you're gonna see the start slash stop button. This is gonna allow you to start and or pause or stop your treatment. If you move to the center of the control panel, you're going to see the console operating screen. Starting across the top of the operating screen on the left hand side, you're going to see the program and or cycle mode that you're currently in. On the far right of the screen, you're going to see the battery status icon. And that battery icon is going to give you an idea of how much power you have left in your device. I have this little list here to kind of give you a good idea of what power you're at, but this is also available to you in your user manual. In between the program and the battery status icon, you might also see a few different icons. Each icon is going to represent a different indication. Just give this list a quick look over and get an idea of what those symbols mean. But also, each of these icons and their descriptions are available in your user manual. All right, now that you know where everything is, let's go ahead and get into customizing your compression therapy session. When you are on the home screen, you can view the programs and or mode you're in, as well as the compression pressure or massage intensity. Also, you can see your treatment time. Now, there's a couple adjustments that you can make from the home screen, like pressure and which program and or cycle mode you are in. To toggle between the programs, all you have to do is press the mode slash menu button. If you want to adjust the pressure, simply press the up and down arrow keys to get to your desired pressure. You cannot adjust time from the screen, but it's important for the user to see the time on the home screen so that they can easily track where they're at during their treatment at a glance. We'll get back into how you can actually adjust the time in a little bit. All right, now let's talk a little bit more about the programs and or modes of this particular console. Now the RPX 2020 comes with five preset programs and or modes, recover, warm up, isolation, interval, and custom. Each of these programs come with their own default treatment parameters, which are fully customizable. Now within each of the programs, you're gonna find different menu items that you can customize. Not all of the programs have the same menu options and they might vary from mode to mode. So for example, although all the programs might have the option to adjust pressure, hold, and release listed in their menu, isolation mode is gonna have a few other menu items related to isolating your therapy that the other programs or modes might not. 
You can check out this list to get an idea of each program's menu items. You can also defer to your user manual as well for a list of each program's menu subsets. If you'd like to access the menu, simply press and hold the mode slash menu button for a couple seconds and the menu will appear. Use the up and down arrows to toggle through the different menu options. To customize a menu item, like time, press the mode slash menu button and use the arrows to adjust the settings. When you're done editing, press the mode slash menu button again and it will switch you back to the menu. Once you're done customizing your different menu options, simply hold the mode slash menu button again and you'll return to the home screen for your treatment. To begin your treatment, simply press the start button. To stop or pause the treatment at any time, you can press the start slash stop button. If you want to pause the treatment, all you need to do is press that button and then press it again to pick up where you left off. To end the session, you will press the start slash stop button and turn off the unit. If at any point you'd like to return your program slash cycle mode to its default settings, simply navigate to the menu until you reach default. Then press the mode slash menu button to select, the buzzer will beep three times, and now your selected program parameters return to their default settings. One of the RPX 2020 customizations is Gradient. Now, Gradient enables you to adjust the pressures in each chamber or cell of your garment. If you want to adjust the gradient, simply hold down the mode slash menu button, toggle through the menu options until you reach gradient, and press the mode slash menu button again to select it. Use the up and down arrows to toggle between the different cells and or chambers of the garment. When the cell you want to customize is highlighted green, press the mode slash menu button to select it. You'll notice that when it's selected, it will begin to flash. Use the up and down arrows to adjust the pressure within that cell. Now it's important to note that in order to promote proper fluid movement, the RPX 2020 console will not allow you to apply a greater pressure proximal to distal. The highest pressures must remain within the first chamber. This ensures safe and effective treatment. To escape the gradient customization screen, press the start slash stop button. Well, that's it for now for our RPX 2020 quick tips. I hope that this video helped you to get started. Stay tuned for more quick tip videos about Recovery Pump app, garments, and anything and everything Recovery Pump. You can reach out to us if you think there's other videos you'd like to see, other things you'd like to learn about at info at rpsports.com. And stay tuned by following us on social or subscribing to our YouTube channel. And don't forget, gang, train hard, but recover happy.